uh, with a flow rate of 100 liters per second, which is enough to uh, uh, supply uh, the hot water needed by the absorption, absorption chiller uh, to produce the cooling that we need uh, for uh, our needs. And this uh, uh, amount of cooling will be directly injected in our district cooling system already present in Master City. كيف يتم تحويل الماء الساخن أنطونيو المتدفق من البئرين إلى هواء بارد؟ هل عملية التكييف هذه تختلف مقارنة بعملية التبريد التقليدية التي تستخدمونها اليوم؟ وهل هناك أي تحديات تشغيلية على هذا الصعيد؟ Okay, we start from this last question. Uh, what, how we generate cooling in our district cooling system? Basically, we rely on uh, the energy mix that we have on our electricity grid to supply electricity on uh, centrifugal chillers that are uh, uh, thermal machines that are producing cooling through compression of a fluid. Uh, the same way our refrigerator works basically at home. Uh, now, what we are doing here, we are using another technology, which uh, is absorption, which doesn't need electricity to run, uh, in a way that we they, uh, this, uh, these machines need thermal energy, heat, in an absorber, uh, that is a solid uh, absorbing this heat, and producing cooling as a result of this process. So we have to see uh, the uh, absorption chiller as a kind of boiler uh, that is uh, uh, using this heat to produce cooling on the other side. And the challenge with uh, uh, these machines uh, are relatively uh, lower than uh, operating normal, normal chillers because they don't require a lot of maintenance. They are uh, uh, environmental friendly and uh, uh, their efficiency uh, when we have at disposal this kind of renewable energy is quite uh, better than uh, the traditional uh, cooling uh, systems. بالحديث عن الوفورات كم سيبلغ حجم الانبعاثات التي يمكن توفيرها باستخدام الطاقة الحرارية الجوفية مقارنة بعملية التبريد التقليدية التي نستخدمها اليوم The efficiency wise, performance wise, these machines uh, are uh, better than conventional systems and if we compare with uh, our current technologies used in district cooling which is already 50% up to 50% more efficient than conventional cooling system adding up the uh, system that we are using in this project, we can achieve further 20 to 30% uh, higher efficiency uh, in the process, which means 20 to 30% further uh, emission savings in terms of CO2. يجب أن نتحدث عن التكاليف كم تبلغ كلفة طن التبريد من هذين البئرين مقارنة, مقارنة بتكلفتكم اليوم بشكل عام وهل تتوقع أنطونيو انخفاض التكلفة مستقبلا؟ As all uh, technologies there is a learning curve and for us this is the first project in the region so uh, there has been a, a lot of efforts that we put uh, into this project in terms of uh, uh, not only capex but also in terms of other resources that we need to employ Uh, to achieve uh, the results that we are uh, uh, discussing now. Uh, I would say roughly to give you uh, an indication, mm. uh, this is a, a small scale project. We will produce around 10%, which is the base load of the district cooling in Mazdar City. Uh, and uh, uh, compared to uh, uh, our usual plant, this pr prototype of project will be more than double than a normal a normal plant but of course this depends on the scale we are talking about a project uh, of a small a small scale to prove that this technology is, is uh, working and uh, we can scale up later and scaling up this project to larger scale definitely the cost will be uh, the, the same even lower than uh, conventional cooling because Uh, we have also uh, the possibility to uh, uh, use all the knowledge